Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael have run this country for 80 years. For the last four years, they've run it together. But what have they left us? The worst ever housing crisis. Rents and house prices totally unaffordable. Over 100,000 families on housing lists. Record numbers homeless. Our public health service in chaos with one million people waiting for years for treatment. Hundreds every day on trolleys. Thousands lacking adequate home care. A climate and biodiversity crisis. Ireland is one of the worst performers in the EU in reducing CO2 emissions. A cost of living crisis with the most expensive childcare costs in Europe and workers hammered with unjust taxes, charges and rising bills and insurance costs. We are one of the wealthiest countries in the world. But that wealth is only benefiting the vulture funds, the property speculators, big corporations and Ireland's billionaires. It's time to break the monopoly of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. We deserve a better future. People before profit say, build public and affordable housing on public land and introduce effective rent control. Create a health system based on medical need, not on the size of your wallet. Restore the pension age to 65 and guarantee decent wages and job security for workers. Take radical climate action where we tax polluting corporations not ordinary people, to fund free public transport, proper grants to insulate homes, and a major program of native forest planting. A national childcare system, abolish unjust taxes on the family home, and the universal social charge for people earning less than 90,000 euro per year. Establish real equality for those with disability and special needs. Reduce class sizes, hire more SNAs, and scrap college fees. Fund community, arts and sports organisations in our communities. We can pay for this, as they do in many parts of Europe, if we make the property vultures, big corporations and billionaires pay their fair share of tax. Here in the Dunleary area, people before profit have a long record of campaigning and building people power movements to fight for local services and amenities. We will fight for urgently delivering social and affordable housing on sites like Shangana, Cherrywood and other publicly owned sites, protecting and upgrading St. Michael's and Lachlan's Towns hospitals, developing Dunleary Harbour and the seafront for the people, not for commercial profit, to provide adequate and affordable childcare in our area, to secure the needed funding to protect St. Joseph's Dementia Care Facility in Shankill, to protect public service bus routes threatened by privatisation and the Bus Connect plan. To end the neglect of areas like Monkstown Farm, Lockhamstown, Ballybrack and Sally Nobby. People before profit don't just say these things before elections. Inside and outside the door, we have been a thorn in the side of Fine Gael and Fine Fall, building grassroots movements for change and standing with those fighting for fairness and equality. We helped establish the National Housing and Homelessness Coalition, bringing thousands onto the streets and introducing a right to housing bill in the door that Fine Gael and Fine Fall opposed. We stood on picket lines with workers like the nurses, school secretaries, school cleaners, bus workers and many more. We helped launch the Right to Water campaign that brought hundreds of thousands onto the streets to defeat water charges. We launched the Save Our Seafront campaign that fought successfully to stop the privatisation of Dunleary Baths and profit-driven development in the harbour in Dublin Bay. We organised national protests that stopped the privatisation of the public forests. Inside and outside the door, we campaigned for repeal the eighth and marriage equality. We introduced bills on medicinal cannabis, banning unfair evictions, keeping fossil fuels in the ground, and for balanced, unbiased sex education. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael would love to silence the voice of people before profit in the door. Don't let them. We deserve a better future. Vote Richard Boyd Barrett, People Before Profit, number one on February the 8th.